Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn multiple operations in calc. In earlier videos, we have discussed about consolidated data, subtotal. So today our turn is to understand the concept of multiple operations, which is a very interesting or we can say that important tool for what if analysis. So let's start with the practical demonstration. I'll open the file. So before starting the multiple operations, first we understand the question which we are going to solve with the help of multiple operations. Let me take an example of a toy company who is selling a toy of Rs 10 and the cost price of one toy is Rs 2. Annual expenditure which was faced by that company is Rs 10,000. And the number of toys manufactured by the company is 2000. So how much that company is in loss or in profit so that we can calculate by using a formula. How? Simply your selling price means whatever you have earned minus and subtract whatever you have spent in doing that. So the same thing we are doing here. So I'll show you the formula. B7 multiplied by B4. That means B7 is my 2000, that is number of toys, multiply with the selling price. So that means my total earning is 20,000, right? But we need to subtract the expenditure also, which is cost price of one toy is 2. So total toys 2000, so that means 4000 is my cost price of all the toys, as well as the annual expenditure of 10,000. So I subtracted this and getting a profit of rupees 6000. But what if company manufacture 500 toys, 1000 toys, 1500, 2000 or 5000. So now we have to calculate this with the help of multiple operations. So please understand the concept carefully and see till end then only you will be able to understand the purpose of the same. So let me select this data. We will go to data, multiple operations. Here you can see the three things, formula, row input cell and column input cell. Formula, you have to select the cells where you have used the formula to calculate your profit or loss, which is my, this cell, B8, right? Now, since we are using the values in the column, column number D, so I have to go for the column input cell, which is 2000, because I am changing it 500, 1000, 1500, various values of the number of toys manufactured. Clear? When we click on OK, so you can see all the circumstances, under all circumstances, we are getting a profit or loss at once. Means if a company is manufacturing 500 toys, the company is in loss of 6000. If a company is manufacturing 5000 toys, getting a profit of 30,000. Right? Now, let me move further. We know that the company is manufacturing 2000 toys and getting a profit of rupees 6000, right? So that means profit per toy is rupees 3. That we can calculate it simply division B8 by B7, right? So I'll undo this. I'll just select the entire data. I'll go to data. Multiple operations. I'll select the formula. Formula is my, these two cells are in my formula. Column input cell is the same. And click on OK. So you can see now that a company manufacturing 2000 toys getting a profit of 6000 and profit of 3 rupees per toy. If a company is manufacturing 500 toys, then loss of 6000 and 12 rupees per toy loss. So let me go a further when we work with two variables. Two variables means, means column as well as the row. So here is the sample sheet. So let me select this, the entire data. Go to data, multiple operations, formula, the same question I'm telling here. So formula is 6000, column input cell is 2000 as usual, and row input cell is 10. So what we are going to calculate actually 
the two what happen if a company sells a toy at rupees eight rupees ten rupees twelve or rupees fourteen then in that case so we are working here two variables one the row wise as well as the column wise Co column wise that means the company manufacturing two thousand toys twenty five hundred three thousand so let me click on ok see if a company is manufacturing thousand toys and selling it to these eight has to face four thousand rupees loss these ten two thousand to these twelve no profit no loss at rupees forty two thousand rupees profit to these sixteen four thousand so that means a complete scenario of the companies in front of you in what way you have to sell or sell your toy to get profit so i hope that with the help of this question this multiple operation feature will be clear to you the same question is given in the book i'll show you that also same question is in the book see so this is all explained in the book so i've taken this example from the book only so i hope that this feature will be clear to you so do the practice thank you and if you have not seen the previous video you can see the link in the description right thank you